No, we heard you scream there from your house. It hit the whole city. You know, he is the king of kings. So he really doesn't mind having a queen in the house. Because he is the king of that queen too. God in his kingdom is so amazing. The journey, I mean, there's so many things that are going through my spirit, you know, just around what God has done and key moments and all that God has done. Um, but I want to say this to you. In fact, I can leave all my talkings for afterwards. Let us welcome the new Mrs. South Africa. be out in Hollywood or a movie or a song the devil likes to go and claim the victory and we said no first stop is the house of God because this is a victory for the kingdom of God come on the kingdom has won we're so proud of you Aaron please share wow good morning church <laughs> There's so much that I can say this morning, but there's just one thing that I know, that God gets all the praise, He gets all the glory. And I know that there is no ways that I could have done this without you and Pastor Z, Apostle, your blessing, your guidance. I didn't, I didn't rock up on that stage a finished product and ready to go. It was 22 years of training and God developing me. For purpose sitting under the word learning building character things that I, you always say apostle the things that pe that people see is developed and it's, it comes from a place of the unseen the things that you do behind the scenes that people don't see and they think they don't deem important it's the character building it's the development it's the forgiving when you need to it's saying sorry when you need to it's uh, you know, c encouraging yourself in the Lord when you need to. And it's all those things that you and pastors, you have trained and taught me. And it's how, when I, when I stood up on that stage, I knew that there was, I'm standing there with all of the training and the years that you guys have taught me and all of the support and the seeds that the church has sown into my life. There has been... So when I was up there, I, I stood there, not as Aaron in myself, 
I'm up there as Kingdom Life Embassy. I'm up there as Leanne Morais that poured into my life, as Jade Starkey that poured into my life, as the worship team that keeps teaching me and growing me into my life, as all the people that have. I said to them in my interview, they were like, you know, do you think you'll be able to do this job? Why do you think, like, are you going to be able to handle all, you know, everything that needs to happen? I'm like, I have such an amazing support structure. And it's not only my husband, who, of course, yes, the apostle, my husband has been amazing. Brian, Brian has, Brian has supported me. He has prayed for me, Apostle, when I, days when I was crazy and I just like, I can't even do this anymore. Then he will just talk me straight and just put me straight and say, this is not even about you. This is about kingdom purpose. And whatever I needed, whether it was financial, whether it was things that he needed to sort out for me, done done no questions even asked and so that's why I said in my interview I'm such a huge support structure there is no ways that I can't do this job because there are so many people that have backed me so many people that have fought their lives and of course the grace of God apostle I mean that is a given but 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 just I'm just so thankful to God he's brought me full circle 22 years ago I moved to Johannesburg I won a competition 22 years ago and I thought I was gonna be in the music industry but God had a different plan he needed a message he needed his word to go forth and and he's created that that opportunity and that platform now and we're gonna run and we're not even gonna look back <laughs> we're gonna make such a huge impact this year they're not gonna know what hit them <laughs> in Jesus name <laughs> So I just want to say, I also, I never went out on my own. I, God gave me a word. He gave me two words. And if I can just put that up, Apostle, it's, the one is Proverbs 31. And I think it's verse 8. Uh, in the Passion Translation version. Yeah, if you have the Passion, if you have the Passion, that's the right scripture. If you have the Passion Translation, don't. Okay, it's fine. But this is the scripture that God gave. He said, open up your mouth. This is also a good one. Open up your mouth for the speechless in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Right? That was the one. That was the one. And then this is the, the passion version. Where is it? But you are to be a king who speaks up on behalf of the disenfranchised and pleads the, for the legal rights of the defenseless and for those who are dying. So that's Proverbs 31. Give me 24. So that's Proverbs 30, 31. That was the one word. And the other one was 34. Yeah, the passion is fine. And it's verse 11, it says, Go and rescue the perishing. Be their savior. Why would you stand back and watch them stagger to their death? And so those, those two were a, a real a word that, you know, just sat in my spirit and I just pondered on it for a very long time. And I was like, if you have the kingdom message, why would you not go for a platform? Why would you not position yourself to come and rescue, to speak the word of God, to speak a kingdom word that's going to deliver people and set them free. And so when I got that word, I'm like, you don't move without a word. You don't move without a word from the Lord. <laughs> Because when the enemy comes in, you need to have something to stand on and you need to have something to speak back to him. So that was a word that, that governed everything that I did, Apostle. And then before I even entered, it was I think like literally the Monday when I called Apostle because we were, we were so uneasy in our spirits about should we do it, should we not do it. And um, Brian said, no, just call Apostle. He's like, no, but it's Monday. We can't call Apostle on a Monday. 
you know, is resting. Um, we just, we said, if we perish, we perish, but we go before the king. <laughs> so we, <laughs> we called the apostle and of course you were, you were just so spirit led and gracious and gave the blessing. Um, and that immediately I was settled in my spirit and I was like, now let's go. Let's do this thing. And the five minutes before entries close is when I, I submitted my entry form and then God did everything else. Yeah. of you and I just want to honor your family because it is Mrs. South Africa. Husband, children, really it's taken so much of your time but you've given to a cause and I know the fruit of your labors will be received and recognized and it will go globally in Jesus name. And for you my gorgeous girl, when I think about you, and I thought now more than ever the prayers are going to be. But I want to tell you, the Queen was inside of you at the beginning of time. God put it in there, but it needed a woman to submit and say, Lord, for your kingdom and for your glory. They call you Queen Esther, and I say, Amen. And many say it's because of the favor, but let me tell you, my honey, it's the honor. The book of Esther is a book of honor. And if I look at your life and how you've even started this journey, you are honorable. You are the most gracious woman. And I know that as God started with you, baby, he's going to be with you throughout the journey and until you go home to be the for the Lord because this title nobody can take away from you you will always be known as that lady so come on let's give God a praise and a shout again stretch out your hands we come stand here pastor bring me your children Father, in the name of Jesus, we lay the crowns at your feet. Every victory for the kingdom of God, we plead the blood of Jesus over her. This family, everything that she touches will turn into prophetic gold. Wherever she goes, the power and the anointing will make the difference. The doors will open that no man can shut. The keys, my God, for the globe. The, the work has just begun. But you've raised up an Esther in our generation. And we've seen your hand, my God. We release the blessing of the Lord upon her. She's preserved and she's protected. Wherever she flies across this globe, wherever she goes, wherever she stands, the anointing will make the difference. This victory is yours, Lord. Your hand will rest upon her always. From today, daughter, no man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As God was with Moses, Joshua, and everybody else that has honored him, so he'll be with you. You will always walk in victory. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Come on, there's a queen in the house.